Hello, University YouTube channel, and welcome to part two of discussions about God with me and Anthony, my co-leader and friend. So now uh, we're going to be talking about prayer and um, just asking questions and discussing prayer in general. I hope you don't mind me eating ice cream while I'm doing it. I, it's just soup do, do now. Do they have a choice? They, <laughs> they don't. So let's start off with the first discussion question. What is prayer? I just know prayer as our primary method of communicating with God. Um, there's different ways to do it, of course. Mm -hmm. Jesus talked to his father. He prayed all the time. Yes, he did do so, that. He made intentional alone time to pray and talk to God. Yes. To reconnect with him. Mm -hmm. Be like Jesus. Yeah, but I think, you know, when we are gonna, when we talk about prayer, we're going to be talking more about like the intentionality like of being spending time mm -hmm. with God and talking to him or listening to him too. Yeah. So what is, what is like, personally, what does prayer look like? To each of us like when we pray what is what does that mean what it or should we... look like versus what it does look like <laughs> <laughs> real well, question I right there call us out on that okay. <laughs> what it should look like <laughs> uh, versus versus what it does look like <laughs> for me i i don't do anything really fanciful with my prayer i think i have a very <laughs> more traditional style of prayer. I know like Thanks. there's other different ways people pray too, and I, I respect it for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes I do it too, but for the most part, I primarily just, you know, bow my head, close my eyes, hold your hands, mm. let us pray. <laughs> <laughs> let us pray. Let us pray, you know, is what you hear often. <laughs> and that's kind of what I usually do, you know, like I'll start my morning off, begin talking to God, you know, I'm like, hey, how's it going, God? Uh, mm -hmm. Hey, these are some things in my life right now. Um, these are some things that I know some people that I know are kind of struggling with and would like, you know, some of your peace, some of your guidance with as well. Mm -hmm. And so when I'm praying, I, I pray for those people. Um, I pray for events that have happened throughout yesterday that I might have missed God or a God moment mm -hmm. or an opportunity to share God. Um, I also pray for upcoming moments as well in the day. Uh, so hopefully that I can capture it mm -hmm. and not miss it. Um, and... Yeah, I think those are the primary things that I usually pray about. Mm. Um, and then if I, <laughs> what I do now also <laughs> is that during my prayer, I will, I usually have my journal up at the same time. And so my journal is oh, yes. on my laptop. So I'll, I'll type out my prayer as I'm praying mm. because it keeps me focused and from kind of like, you know, meandering around. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, so it's been, it's been really helpful. It keeps me on track, keeps me from like, kind of daydreaming in the early morning when I'm still tired and like mm. basically sleeping, you know, but not really sleeping, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that, that's been really mm. helpful. It's a tip, tip that I've been using for myself. I like that. Mm -hmm. Um, I like to do, well, I don't do this as much as I often do, but I tend to feel God a lot more when I do like silent prayer mm. where I ask him, is there anything you want to say to me or anything I need to hear or anything that you want to show me? And then I just kind of sit and let my brain go. Mm. And, and so what is silent prayer exactly? Yeah. Silent prayer is just, um, well, you're not praying out loud. <laughs> you just well, kind of silent. silent prayer. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> well, no, it's just taking a moment to sit in silence after asking God, like, is there anything you want to show me? Or like, mm -hmm. what? what or something about this circumstance that i can be like what what about this can you can you show me and help me with and then i just stay silent and whatever comes to my head i write down and i just i'm like here's the thing like i remember doing silent prayer was hard for me because i was always like oh i have to keep focusing <laughs> like i have to <clears throat> i was like this i'm thinking about something completely different this is not what he's showing me mm -hmm. but at the same time like it could be <laughs> so could be. Anything that like pops into my head, like a like usually it's a um, what am I thinking? An image or a visual mm. of something. It's less words for me. My mom is the opposite. She gets she gets words, um, but I get images and feelings. For me, I listen to God, and He answers me from my prayers through <clears throat> reading the Word of God. Mm. And so as I'm reading the passage, I'll be like, Oh, God is speaking to me. Like I resonate with these specific words. Um, why does it resonate with me in this particular way? Uh, what is God trying to say? God bless you. <laughs> Sorry. 
Um, and so, yeah, for me, I, that's how I usually hear God kind of respond. Um, Some people, people have different gifts in terms of receiving from God and, and, you know, he talks to people in different ways. So it's just really fascinating to hear how, pe how God talks to other people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's very cool. And how God responds to the prayers too. Yeah. Because I've seen God respond and move me through too. prayers. It's been pretty awesome with the experience. I think the most common prayer that people kind of experience in which God definitely moves and in a very fast paced manner is when you pray for peace. Mm, right? Yes. Um, I think that's a prayer that I yes. personally will do when I'm very anxious at times. Um, when I'm struggling with, you know, kind of keeping my own stress in line and in check, then that's when I pray for God's peace. I pray for God's guidance to surrender up to him. And at that time, you know, that's when this peace which surpasses all understanding, which guards mm. our hearts and minds, right? kind of like washes over you and then it, it brings you, you know, to a place where you can not worry as much as before. There was a time where I was like, I was at a camp, right? And I didn't want, I was, I was having a horrible time. I was having many panic attacks. It was not great. And I was like, I just want to go home. Um, and so I was praying and I was like, please just give me peace or calm me down or something. I was so angry. I was like, why, why? I just want to have a good time. Mm. Like, this is dumb. <laughs> like, I don't want to do this all the time. One of my leaders came into my room and saw that I wasn't going to an event. And she's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, I'm just, I just, I just want to go home. Mm. I'm like, I called my parents, they're coming. I just want to go home. And she was like, okay, what well, can I pray for you? And I was like, um, no. <laughs> uh, no. Was, no. <laughs> no, you cannot pray for me, actually. I was so... That was, I was genuinely like, it doesn't work. Just, no, don't do it. I'm just so mad at him right now. I can't even talk to him. I'm shutting him. And so she was like, well, I'm going to pray for you. <laughs> I was like, and it was probably the first time I really felt God. Like, felt him. Because, because it was like a wave of just... <laughs> it was peace, a wave. By the way. A wave of peace. <laughs> yes, it was a wave of peace and calm, and my mind was going everywhere, and then it just like settled down. And I was just like, whoa, that was not me because I've been trying to do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, there was no way that that was possible. And I just was like, I was like, I'm going to take a nap now. <laughs> and so, for the first time, like that whole weekend, I took a nap and I wasn't nervous i wasn't like getting sick from being nervous i wasn't super like mad or angry and i was just like whoa he's real so mm -hmm. there's there's there, this this kind of segues into another question um oh. what does it look like to pray as a community <laughs> other oh. people praying together mm. what does that look like and you know why is that important, I guess, too? Like, it's another same thing, like, with the Bible question. I'm like, why can't I just do it on my own? Like, you, you is can it do better? It own, I mean, yeah. yeah, you can do it on your own. I mean, like, is there a better way? Is What's the what's the difference? Like, what's the poipus? I think there is, um, there's a special emphasis on communal prayers um, that it is important for sure. Um, I know that I'm not as familiar with it personally, um, which is something that I can work on on myself for sure. Yeah. Um, because there is like corporate prayers, right? Where you kind of pray as a big group and you all pray together for the same thing. Mm -hmm. And there's definitely power in that too. And God responds in many different ways. I think it's, it's, it's different from like praying on your own. I think mm -hmm. when it comes to like a smaller community though, like let's say for a small group and like the Bible study, I think it is good to do prayer as a community because it shares um, what you're kind of going through with other people and you are now sharing the burden with each other, mm -hmm. helping each other be accountable and also supporting one another too. You know, like, like I said in my story, like praying with other people, I don't know, there's just something about feeling Jesus or feeling the Holy Spirit or God like in a room mm -hmm. together. But, I mean, even... Let's, let's take for instance, like, well, we actually, you know, we're online most of my time as a leader, but there was still, like, I was still able to feel, like, hear Jesus and feel him with a group. Like, when we prayed, we prayed uh, with other leaders, I was, like, I was getting very visual images, and I was, like, whoa, God's talking right now, and we're praying together, and it's just, it's so interesting, like, 
like when you do listening to prayer together, like God tells us all different stuff. Mm-hmm. And it's so interesting to hear what he has to say from everybody that it's, it's just so like, I don't know. I'm trying to find the word like heartwarming. Mm. Mm. Overwhelming. Overwhelming. Well, not really. I... No, that's the bad word. Uh, <laughs> more filled and more connected. There we go. I feel more connected with God when I pray with other people. Nice. <laughs> that was super interesting. Should we pray to close this out? Sure. Sure. Do you want me to pray? You want to pray? I can How pray. do you want to do this? Hey, Father. Um, thank you so much for this opportunity that you gave me and Anthony to be able to share about how you've impacted our lives and how we talk to you, how we experience you through leadership, through community. Father, I thank you for just this beautiful day and this opportunity to to just chat, even with everything going on um, and all the stress that's happening and starting up school, that we were given this time to just talk about you and, and be in your presence. (laughs) <laughs> I want to thank you for uh, the opportunity to kind of just talk um, and hopefully you know it's interesting to the people that are listening too and hopefully insightful and also God honoring mm. yeah. in Jesus name we pray amen amen huzzah go. huzzah huzzah I'm in huzzah, huzzah. <laughs> <laughs> okay well thank you guys so much for watching Please like and subscribe and comment if you want to hear more from us or like or not like this video. (laughs) And um, God bless you. We love you. Amen. (laughs) Bye.